Live from South Los Angeles, this is Futboleando with some CIF LA City Section Soccer. Live from Fremont High School, this one's well underway for this one, and it's a commanding three to nothing lead in favor of the Pathfinders. Folks, thank you so much for joining us here via Futboleando. I am Jose Duran, your play by play broadcaster today. And some Coliseum League action between these two rivals, the Fremont Pathfinders taking on the Fauche Wolverines. Like I mentioned, this one well underway as the Pathfinders are looking to go ahead and improve on their very impressive start of the season so far. A team that's one of the favorites to be competing for the CIF LA City Section uh, Division One Boys Soccer Championship, and which will be their first in their history. Corner kick here. Ball's going to be crossed in, headed away defensively, loose in the box. Covered by the Pathfinders, a Pathfinder team that we had the luxury to see at the Southeast Winter Classic. A team that made it all the way to the championship game commanding fashion. See a foul here in favor of Fouché. Like I was mentioning, a team that was able to make it in commanding fashion to the final of the Southeast Winter Classic. And falling short of the championship against a very well team. The Marquez High School representation of Heinemann Park. But this is going to be a free kick opportunity here for Fauche. Ball's going to be crossed in, headed away defensively when the Pathfinder still left their shot and is going to be wide for a goal kick. On a beautiful Friday evening, thank you so much for tuning us in. This one's well underway. 3 nothing lead in favor of the Fremont Pathfinders, a team that's coming in to today with a 15-1-2 overall record and a 6-0 record in league play, so undefeated so far. Last time these two faced each other, Fauché fell short one nothing. But already down 3-0 to zero here. Possibly could be more. Player that's been involved a lot in today's play has been number 7, Franklin Orellana. Orellana had the Futboleando Golazo of the Southeast Winter Classic Tournament. Had an amazing free kick from about, I would say, what, 30 yards. And scored against a very well Palisades team. Well, once again, we're coming to you live from South Los Angeles, the home of the Pathfinders, John C. Fremont High School. Let's see a foul here committed in favor of Fremont. Right in the heart of South Los Angeles. It's going to be restarted short. Played here near side to Juan Alcantar. Alcantar goes back to the middle. Reception here by Franklin. Tries to go back in the middle but gives it away. It's clear that Orellana is the main focal point of this Pathfinder's offense. While it's going to be placed over the top. Headed back defensively. Orellana able to go ahead and cause havoc defensively there. And cleared away by the goalkeeper. Ball's going to be cleared back away. Oh, no offsides here. Was going to be played onside. Leaves it outside. Slide, defenders slide away. Opportunity for the fourth. It's deflected there by the goalkeeper. It hits the crossbar and cleared away. 
we'll take a look at the replay here. Ball's going to be placed in a great defensive deflection there last minute, but the goalkeeper able to go ahead and get a great save and keeps this one still 3 nothing. Fauché within distance at least, that they were able to go ahead and get one back, but if they score that fourth, it's lights out. Jose Valenzuela able to go ahead and play that one back. And come the Pathfinders trying to come out from the back defensively. Juan Alcantar back to Amaya. Bob with power for Franklin. What a good throw bar here. Opportunity for the fourth. Here they scream in and a great save for the goalkeeper. Great save once again by the goalkeeper. We still have a live action play. Ball played in the back. Opportunity for the fourth and a great slide that's going to send this one for a corner kick. What a miss by Franklin Orellana. I believe he's already in the books for a goal here today. It's 3 0 in favor of. the Fremont Pathfinders, but that was an opportunity that Oriana wants back to make it for nothing. Corner here, here for Fremont. Placed in, deflected, back header, and a goalkeeper able to go ahead and punch that away for yet another corner kick. Franklin Orellana has just been busy here tonight. Quick restart here. Ball's going to be placed in. Going over everyone. And back out of play. 3-0 lead here in favor of the Fremont Pathfinders. As you're watching CIF LA City section via our multi-streaming platforms, we're coming to you live via Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're bringing you a lot of great action of CIF LA City Section Division One soccer. Earlier in the week, we were at Southeast High School for Garfield versus Southeast. Southeast High School ended up coming on top of that one. Three goals to one. And now we're coming to you live from South Los Angeles. Also going to be placed up top for Forche. And last for a throw in. About 18 minutes left. In this one, the first half gone by in a heartbeat. Three nothing lead in favor of Fremont. The Pathfinders looking to make their way into a great playoff push. And why not aim for a title? First title ever at Fremont High School soccer history for Division One. Ball's gonna be cleared away and no problem for the goalkeeper. On what is uh, just an amazing, beautiful night for some soccer. Although it's been chilly across the Southland. It's just a great night overall today. that he has Fauché is attacking on the near side. He gets away from one, gets away from two, fakes the shot, opens it up, near side, recrosses it. Who's going to go ahead and clear it away? It's going to be cleared away by Amaya, the number eight of Fremont. Ball 
That's going to be restarted here on the near side. Keep pushing forward, that's for Shay. The Wolverines are looking to probably do some damage before the half ends. Breakaway opportunity here on the far side for Fauche. Here the Wolverines are looking to go ahead and possibly cut into the lead. They had numbers, but Fremont able to go ahead and get back. They put a cross back in, gets deflected, and a throw in coming for Fauche. Reading here, I know some in the comments saying Fremont does have three titles, but they're yet to conquer a Division I title. There are a Division I finalist and Division II champions as well. And this is all of the information we're getting off of their social media accounts. So in that count, they're looking to get a championship on the Division I side. That's what they're at now. They're in Division I soccer in the top 10 of the Fútbol Yando rankings here. Shots gonna be taken from the outside, defensively cleared away. Still loose there, one by Fauche. Opportunity here for the Wolverines to take a one-time shot from there! And it goes just over the crossbar. For a goal kick within 15 minutes left here in what is an uh, entertaining first half without a doubt. Three nothing in favor of Fremont, a great team overall, great sounding team. This is going to be recovered here by Juan Alcantar. Back to Valenzuela. The ball's going to be cleared away and it's going to be a throw in here in favor of Fauche. Checking in was Tenze, the junior. Ball's going to be crossed. Then what year was that? Uh, Mofles 07, let us know what year was that. Let us know what year was that. And if that's the case, then they have the experience to to do so again. I think, what do you think? I think they have a a great team here. What a great move here by number seven of the Wolverines. Shot crossed in and deflected for a corner kick. You think they have what it takes to run it the whole way this year? I think so. They're... You know, the only loss they have so far in their schedule is that penalty kick loss that they had against Marquez. So outside of that, you know, if you want to go ahead and, harp, you know, folks, they want to go ahead and, and count a loss in PKs outside of the BK loss, I mean, you know, they haven't lost this season. Got it. Thank you. Thank you for that breakdown. Cross going to be crossed. It had it still there. And goalkeeper able to go ahead and capture that one. 93. A lot of history here in this soccer program. And it's great to see them back in, in great form. A team representing South Los Angeles here. Entering the year with 15 wins and one defeat. Audrey, like I mentioned, that one defeat just coming... And that loss against PK in the Southeast Tournament. So, overall, an amazing team. Franklin Oriana, an amazing player. Let us know in the comments that you, you think this Fremont team has what it takes to take it the distance this year. Well, it's going to be placed forward. Reception over here for the Pathfinders. They've showed and proved what they have what it takes to beat top teams in D1. The way they handle Palace Sides in the Southeast Winter Turn Classic 2 0. Now, here they go once again, going to be inside the box, crossed in, deflected for a corner kick. But like I was mentioning, they've proven so far this year that they have what it takes to beat top teams in Division 1. We recovered, we covered that game against Palisades 
in the Southeast Winter Classic. They won 2 nothing and rather 2-1. They got a score on late in that game, but they were able to go ahead and just maintain and control. So I invite you all, that game is in our channel. When you have a minute, go look at that game and see how great Fremont played against a great team that are the Dolphins. Here comes the Wolverines, opportunity to get cut back here. Shot's going to be taken absolutely wide. About 10 minutes left in the first half here. On an entertaining and a lot of goals in the first half. 3 nothing in favor of the Pathfinders. Team that is looking to go ahead and move up to 16 wins in the year, which will already be an impressive mark so far with still games to go and improve to 7-0 and in league play. Referee's going to go ahead and blow a whistle. Free kick foul in favor of Foshe. As nightfall is upon us here in South Los Angeles. Game time temperature just about the low 60s on what has been cool days across Los Angeles. Cool in our terms, 58 degrees the local weather. They're going to go ahead and get a quick restart. Boss is going to take a shot from the outside well over the goalkeeper. who gets us restarted real quickly here on the near side. Here come the Pathfinders and very well defended in the back by Estefano's Tenze. Great give and go. Ever since they took that, that third goal, the Pathfinders understandably so took the foot off the pedal. It's been more of a possession of the Wolverines, but they're also the team in need. Play the ball back forward, pushing forward our Jose High School. Plato in the middle is going to go ahead and get inside the box and very well timed clearance away by the Pathfinders. Well done by Juan Alcantar, the senior, who has been very active here tonight. So when it comes to the Pathfinders, there's been a lot of Alcantar and a lot of Franklin Orellana. Ball's gonna be played around the equator of the field. Almost stolen away by the, in uh, fact, stolen away. Here comes a counterattack, but they have numbers in the back through the Wolverines. However, it's going to be a throw in in favor of Fremont. Great give and go. Fought for, headed by Franklin Orellana. It's going to be try to get headed back. Denze able to go ahead and control, gets a touch in, looking to go ahead and get the receiving ball back, but doesn't do so. Still in possession of Fauché. And the Wolverines are going to go ahead and be in a breakaway. Ball's going to be poked inside, but very well defended in the back by Fremont. And it's great the way they're able to go ahead and touch the ball. Cantar goes further back. They're not afraid to come out touching one and two. Here comes Alcantar once again. Controls it. Goes forward. 
and they have the space and they're able to go ahead and push numbers forward. Franklin Orellana was the target up top. Ball's gonna be placed all the way back to the goalkeeper who plays it short here with number five of the Wolverines and goes back defensively. Once again, folks, thank you so much for joining us here via Futboleando. I am Jose Duran, your play-by-play -play broadcaster, entertaining one to say the least, three nothing in favor of the, pre, uh, the uh, Fremont Pathfinders. Team that is just a joy to watch on the ball. Alcantar once again. Goes further back here with Andy Aguilar, who goes with his goalkeeper, clears it out of danger. Headed back away and back in possession of Fremont. Here they have a counterattack if they want to. They pass the equator to the field. And this is Christopher Martinez. There's Martinez. Pushing forward, Martinez. Has Oriana if he wants it. Lays this one off right at the foot of Soto. Pathfinders keep pushing forward. Molina able to get away from one, can't get away from two. And a counter attack booing here for the Wolverines. What a great turn here. Tried to put the ball forward there, but it's deflected for a throw in. We are live on our multi streaming platforms, folks, on Futboleando via Facebook via Instagram and via Twitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe to any of those platforms. If not all, why not? As we're bringing you great action of all the talent across Los Angeles in high school soccer. Ball played here with Martinez. Cuts inside with his right foot, dishes this one off. What a great turn and move. Give and go. Pushes forward with Frank and Ariana. Ariana able to go ahead and pick his head up. Sends a cross in. Goalkeeper able to come out. I believe he gets a deflection on it. Either way, back in possession of the Pathfinders. Ball looking to find Molina. Deflected for a throw in. But it's going to be a substitution here in favor of Fremont. Coming into this one is going to be number eight, Eric Amaya. Exiting the game, number 13 of the Pathfinders. It's Sergio Sorto. And we're back into live action play. Ball's going to be put all the way through here. Official says he's onside, and Martinez is going to be onside. He gets inside the box, picks his head up, puts a cross in. But the Wolverines able to go ahead and get back in time, clear this one away. Here's Tenze once again. The Pathfinder's all over him. Break numbers. They're getting a pull on their shirt there. Referee says play on. Ball's going to be deflected off of a Fremont player and for a goal kick. Very well done here by the Wolverines defense. As they get a quick restart here, trying to go ahead and possibly get a goal before the half ends. Less than three minutes to go, plus whatever the official wants to add on here. 40-minute halves in CIAF LA Division 1 and across all divisions of soccer. Great to know about the history of the Pathfinders as their first title did come in 93 here. Thanks for the confirmation on the comments. Oh, what a great move here by the Pathfinders as they're able to go ahead and push numbers forward. Ball played in the middle. Come back outside. What a great stolen ball away from the Wolverines. They have numbers on the far side if they want them. Now the Pathfinder is able to go ahead and get back defensively. Not the best of options of through bar here. Less than two minutes ago in the first half. Pathfinders with a commanding three to nothing lead. Good pushing numbers up here. Keep sending folks up top. 
but very well defended. Ball's going to be back into the Pathfinders, and they go ahead and get a foul official right on top of this one. I mean, right all over it. Is he able to go ahead and call for a free kick in favor of the Pathfinders? And what is just a beautiful night across here, across Los Angeles. An amazing backdrop there of downtown. But we are back into live action here. Coming to you live from John C. Fremont High School. This is Futboleando Friday Night Light Soccer, CAF LA City section. Ball's going to be crossed in at goal. And goalkeeper are able to go ahead and capture this one without any problems. Tries to come out touching with his winger. Deflected out of bounds and back in favor of the Wolverines. Quick restart, Wolverines are looking to go ahead and get back in the mix of things in terms of of league play. Currently coming in at one three and one. in league play, a 3-4-2 and two overall record. And I mean, by the way things are going in the Coliseum League, looks like no one's going to be clashing up to Fremont. So they're currently 6-0, and oh, possibly improving to 7-0. and oh. Ball put forward here, goes over the head of Molina, the captain here. Molina still fighting for it, gets away from one, still has possession, gets away from two, but very well defended in the air and there by the Wolverines. Able to go ahead and put the body there and just cover it for his goalkeeper. Now kudos to the Wolverines, even though they're down 3-0, they're battling and still looking to go ahead and keep this one close. Molina still fighting for it. It's off of an official free uh, throw in in favor of Fauché. Ball's going to be in possession back of Fremont. Played here in the far side to Martinez. Martinez pushes forward. Picks his head up, crosses it in. Had an opportunity to go ahead and find his teammate, so he took it. Ball's going to be played all the way back here to Tenze. He gives this one away. As the official blows for halftime, this is the first half completed in John C. Fremont High School. It is a 3-0 lead in front of Fremont. We'll go ahead and take a break here and bring back the second half in just a couple minutes.
All right, folks, we are back live with second half action here. Still 3 nothing in favor of Fremont. Porsche is going to go ahead and get us restarted. Quick three goals in the first half for the Pathfinders. It's been entertaining to see them control this one, the way they touch the ball and get things going from the defensive side, as you will see right here. They like to go ahead and touch the ball. As, of course, broadcaster Kurtz, they give this one right away. Here comes the Wolverine, still pushing forward. Opens up the ball here near side. Still going and very well defended finally in the back by the Pathfinders. Corner kick here for the Wolverines. See who checks in. Nobody really does. Ball's going to be played crossed into the second post. Ball's over every one-time shot deflected. Still outside of the box and cleared away. Official blows his whistle for a free kick foul in favor of the Wolverines, a team all in white attacking from right to left. Um, just an amazing night for soccer. A bit chilly, but it's what we're accustomed here in the Southern California around this time. Chilly, if you could call it chilly. Ball played back all the way to the goalkeeper. What a great through ball here from the Wolverines. See if they get something going and if they get a goal then they might make things interesting. It's gonna be deflected for a corner kick. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from South Los Angeles on just an amazing shot of what is downtown LA there coming back into live action as the Wolverines have a corner kick Ball's going to be placed in the first pull shot one time and goalkeeper able to go ahead and get this one two times and clear this one out of danger get given right back in possession of the Wolverines great stuff down by Santos number 12 of Fauché it was very difficult to beat the defensive side of the Pathfinders. Very well sound defensively. And they're not afraid to touch the ball as you're seeing on your screen the way they do there and come out of tight spaces. Great give and go here. And they're just having fun with the ball. Close to their feet. That was... Great stuff as they gave possession from the defensive side. That's Molina. Looking to go ahead and change things up far side. Still have possession through the Pathfinder. Just cross this one in. This one still loose there. One-time shot and a goalkeeper save. That was a one-time shot and a great save by the goalkeeper. Preventing this one to be 4 nothing. Had a great save from the goalkeeper. So far here today, if not, we're talking about at least four or five.
as the Pathfinders, one of the Division I title contenders here. And they're showing why. Now they win league, it's just a matter of what seeding they're gonna get. We know Birmingham they're playing exceptional soccer this year. As well as Granada Hills Charter, El Camino Real. But the soccer that Fremont's demonstrating puts them on top against those names here this year. Great stuff and turn there by Soto of the Pathfinder is very active. So has this been number 28. Great through bar here. Here comes Fremont. Cross nothing and completely understandable. Here we go on the other side, see if the Wolverine play able to push. It's going to be over the goalkeeper without any issues and a goal kick in favor of the Pathfinders. We'll get this one restarted quickly. Fisher blows his whistle. It's going to be substitution here for the Pathfinders, it appears. Oh, an injured player, so time is stopped. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from John C. Fremont High School in the heart of South Los Angeles on a great night for some CIF LA City section soccer. The Pathfinders representing Division One and Fauché Division Two, both great programs, but the Pathfinders aspiring to win Division One all the way through. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, folks, via Footballando and our multiple streaming platforms on Facebook. Instagram and Twitch. So don't forget to like and subscribe our multi streaming platforms, We're bringing you great content of all of the talent across high school soccer in Southern California. Ball played all the way back to the goalkeeper, plays it short. As the sun has completely set here in John C. Fremont High School. The Wolverines looking to cut into the lead. Push forward, what a great through ball. Has back against the goal though, has to go further to his teammates great give and go but even better defending by the pathfinder still battling official says no foul opportunity here for the Wolverines cross is in and nothing comes out of that one goal kick but number 12 Santos that you see on screen here for the Wolverines just showing his athleticism here and his will to go ahead and keep pushing forward. Substitution for the Pathfinders. Entering the game is number 22 and exiting the game number 28. So far in the second half, Fremont's been more on the defensive side. 
Wow. Great stuff here from Fauché. As they're looking to go ahead and cut into the lead, Wolverine still pushing forward here near side. They have Fremont players all over them, however. They're going to go ahead and look for the switch and do so very well. Ball played on the far side. Here comes Fauché High School looking to go ahead and cut into the lead. Ball's going to be deflected. Oh, interesting information coming here on the comments. As we're getting that two players from Fremont were coached by Mauricio Cienfuegos, the LA Galaxy legend. It's amazing. Anyway, you get some type of information from a legend like that. It goes to show that you're showing it on the field. I'm wondering what player my players, because you said two players, what players might that be? I see a lot of Orellana from what Cien had. Cienfuegos, for those of you who didn't have the pleasure to witness him, great number 10 player for the LA Galaxy legend. Brought MLS Cup here to Los Angeles. I invite you all to, after this stream, go ahead and YouTube some of Mauricio Cienfuegos' highlights. We brought a 5-3 Salvadorian international player that was able to go ahead, not only change the landscape of soccer here in Los Angeles, but across the United States as well. Free kick foul in favor of the Pathfinders. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from South Los Angeles off of San Pedro. For those of you wondering exactly it is we're coming off of, coming off of San Pedro, in between San Pedro and Avalon, right on 79th Street, and beautiful school field, just a great field to go ahead and practice soccer. You see the way Fremont plays, they're enjoying to go ahead and playing in this spectacular field and able to go ahead and get the freedom to demonstrate the talent that they have across here in South Los Angeles. Once again, folks, I am Jose Duran, your play-by-play -play announcer. Pause in the break due to a free uh, player injury. But want to go ahead and take the time to make sure you follow us across all of our social media pages as well. And on Facebook, as well as our streaming platforms. We are a multi-streaming platform. We are on YouTube, we are on Facebook, and Twitch as well. We have LA City Section Soccer. Quick restart here for the Wolverines. It's going to be Santo at Fremont High School. What a great ball here put for him on top. One time shot if he wants it. He wants it. It goes just wide. But a great buildup and a great play here for Fremont. We'll look at the Diana. Able to go ahead and get behind that one, but nothing of it. Still 3 nothing in favor of Fremont. Thank you all for joining us here tonight on a cool night across the Southland. Great move here from the Pathfinders. What if he puts them through? Oh, he cut inside instead, and the ball's getting taken away. Very well done here by Herrera. Back to Santos. Back to Herrera. 
And now he loses possession. They're out of bounds in favor of the Pathfinders. This is Fremont High School, a team that's looking to go ahead and make a mark here in 2023-24. Finalist of the Southeast Winter Classic. Ball was looking up there for number two, Chanchavac, as well as Sergio Soto. We're going to get restarted here quickly. Ball all the way through. It gets through the defenders. The Wolverines are going to go ahead and get on top of that one, but very well defended in the back by the Pathfinders. As there less than 10 goals have been conceded by the Pathfinders throughout the season. Here. Ball's going to be placed inside the box. Shot taken from the outside. Still deflected. One-time shot. No problems for the Oriana still fighting for it, putting his body all over that one and able to go ahead and great get possession. Chanchavac goes further back. Get something going offensively. Molina, the number 10 of the Pathfinders, is the person who gets things moving in the midfield. Here goes Franklin Oriana once again. Oriana able to go ahead and take. And what a great reflections by the goalkeeper. But, I mean, you're seeing it on your screen once again here on the replay here, folks. Ore ah, has that sense. And gets those types of shot. Ball's going to be played once again here for the Pathfinders. Give and go. Still playing. Wolverines as they get something brewing on the counterattack. They have space in front of them, but... Ball goes too forward, it cleared away by the Pathfinders, but I mean, just a great opportunity for Fremont to extend that lead. Great stuff by Oriana. Let us know in the comments who are you rooting for. Déjenos saber en los comentarios a quién le va, a quién soporta, soporta Foshe, soporta Fremont, a qué jugador, which player are you supporting. Cuando tomamos, look at that ball, look at that shot by Oriana. Oh, just amazing save by the goalkeeper as well. Able to go ahead and Get a clearance there and sent that one for a corner kick. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, Mofles07 says if Fremont goes undefeated in league play, they should be top three, if not top five, minimum. Minimum top five. Minimum. Just because it's not, I mean, an easy tax to go undefeated in league play, but... Just the way that they've been doing it. I mentioned to you earlier that they were able to go ahead and win the South. I mean, get to the final of the Southeast Winter Classic. They lost in penalty kicks. Outside of that, they haven't lost all year. So in terms of, you know, losing in regular 90-minute play, they haven't done so. So they've been able to go ahead and be undefeated so far. And this is all due to great players that they have, such as, you know, um, Orellana, such as Molina, Alcantar, all great players in this scheme of this Fremont Pathfinders team. It's no easy task to be undefeated in league play in the Coliseum League. Ball still in possession. Here's Chanchavac. Goes further back. Goalkeeper really hasn't been tested in inside of the Fremont. Out of play. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from South of Los Angeles.
for soccer. Fremont leading this one three to nothing. You are watching CAF LA City Section Soccer being brought to you by Futboleando. Back into live action play and some Friday Night Lights football action. In this one, all three months so far. Ball placed about 30 yards away. Shot's going to be taken from the outside. No problems for the goalkeeper, but a lot of touching. A lot of entertaining one. Rory's still looking for something on top. I believe that Santos still has possession here. He's going to take a shot from this distance. Goal. And put that one into the back of the net. And just like that, it is three to one. Goal scored by number 15, Franco, the senior. As Fauche able to go ahead and cut the lead to two goals. Great shot and play by the Wolverines. They've been knocking. I mean, we've been saying it throughout the broadcast here that they... And just chopping, chopping away for exactly what they found there. An error in the back by Fremont. And just like that, it is 3-1. to one. Still a comfortable lead. None. Here come once again the Wolverines looking to possibly cut once into what was a 3 nothing lead into a 3-1 to one lead. With Santos. Still pushing forward and finally cleared back into Wolverine possession. And given away. Oh, what a error in the back shot, and it goes just wide. What an error in the back defensively by Fremont. They give this one away. Oh, and the shot gets just saved by the goalkeeper. They send this one for a corner kick as the Wolverines are all of a sudden, I mean, they've been asleep and now they're awake. We look a goal at take a look at the goal here. Oof, what a shot and what a strike and put that one into the bottom corner. Able to go ahead and cut into this one. It's 3-1 in favor of Fremont. Froche looking to go ahead and cut into that lead. Corner kick here. Process is in. Out of the box once again, but in possession of the Wolverines. Here they come. Fremont able to go ahead and clear this one out of danger. The Pathfinder's looking to go ahead and seal the deal here. A fourth one is a final no in the coffin without a doubt. Franklin Oriana looking to move, looking going. Opens it up here near side. On the move are the Pathfinders trying to get across into the second post. Headed back in! Golazo! Goal! Of the Fremont Pathfinders. What a great setup and opportunity play. And look at the celebration there. From the Pathfinders, as they're able to go ahead and, like I said, possibly put the final nail into that coffin. Great stuff from the Pathfinders. Believe that. 
was closed in by number 10, Ricky Molina. Either way, Molina celebrates that one with Sergio Soto, number 13. And it's 4-1 to one in favor of the Pathfinders. Just amazing overall play. We'll go look at the full shade goal once more before we go to the goal of Fremont. Look at great stuff here and great technique to finish that and put that one into the bottom corner. Back into live action. It's 4-1 to one in favor of Fremont. Two goals here in the second half. One from each team. Wolverines looking to possibly get another consolation goal. This one about wrapped up with four minutes. We'll go ahead and take another look at the Fremont goal. I mean, what a great setup up and play to finish that one off. Back into live action here for the Pathfinders and looking to possibly get a fifth. What a great fake and dummy. Oriana still there, takes a shot from distance. It's gonna be a goal kick, but a great shot by Oriana. Once again, we'll go back to that goal of the Pathfinders. Great set up and a great header finish. I think I enjoyed the celebration a lot more from Molina and from Soto. As Fremont able to go ahead and be in control here. Four goals to one. Here they come once again. Looking for a fifth. Less than eight minutes to go. Great defensive move here by Wolverine. Straight up because he pushes forward for Santos. He does so and pushes the ball even forward for one of the goal scorers. But very well defended in the back by Fremont. But it's still Tenze. He's inside the box. Still going forward. Taken down. Official's going to go ahead and blow his whistle here and say, yeah, it's going to be a free kick foul in favor of Fauché. We saw a great move there by Estefanos Tenze, the number seven junior of Fauché. They're going to go ahead and get a free kick opportunity here to possibly extend the lead. Or rather cut into the lead. As time keeps ticking away, five goals in this one. 4-1 in favor of Fremont. Free kick here, I believe. Something you don't see that often. Goalkeeper is going to go ahead and try to go and cut into this one. He's going to have the free kick here. Official blows his whistle. He's going to take it. And good for three points. But that's not until this weekend, folks, as we are gearing up for some NFL playoffs. But here... Once again, we are coming to you live from South Los Angeles on a great night for some football. Well, people have been in control of this one, completely have been the Pathfinders. Se resbala y llegan el balón. Puede ser el quinto. El tapa el remate. Y se va para saque de meta. Un saludo a Seferino que entra al cántar de nuevo. Número 14. Su madre apoyando desde su lugar de trabajo. Un saludo a todas las madrecitas que luchan 
por sus hijos, también a los padres, también, ¿por qué no? Pero aquí me refiero a Seferino que dice que estaba apoyando a su hijo número 14, Alcántar. Lo hemos cambiado aquí eh, para español la radiación de este partido. Cuando miramos oportunidad aquí por los Pathfinders, sigue Freeman buscando el número 5 del partido. El partido dice, el árbitro dice que juegue, no hay foul. Se vale otra vez más fuerte y este se convierte en un partido completamente atrapado en el medio y físico también. Cuando miramos una vez más la repetición de lo que fue el cuarto gol de Freeman. Mire qué jugada, mire qué centro le ponen y cómo cierran las pinzas atrás para marcar el cuarto gol. Un saludo cordial a todos los que nos están sintonizando en vivo aquí de Futboleando. Yo soy José Durán trayéndoles todas las acciones en vivo y en directo desde el sur de Los Ángeles. Estamos aquí en la preparatoria John C. Fremont High School. En lo que es una gran noche para un gran partido entre estos dos. Le restan menos de cuatro minutos a esto. Está en favor 4 a 1 de Fremont. Cuando miramos otro jugador que parece estar lesionado. Sí, se cae al césped José Valenzuela. El senior, uno de los capitanes de este equipo. Se que percata rápidamente Manuel Corona, el técnico que está lesionado a su jugador y hace que venga el cambio. Le restan menos de tres minutos a este partido. Está viendo partido de CIF LA City Section Football en vivo y en directo por Futboleando. No se olviden darles like y suscribirse a la página. Le vamos a tener más partidos de esto y trayéndole el talento del sur de California. Oportunidad para aquí le pega. Ay, el portero se queda con esa oportunidad que tenía los Wolverines. Tal vez de ganar el segundo gol de la noche. Pues el portero les dice que no. Salen jugando aquí los, el equipo de Freeman. Abren aquí para la sección de la izquierda, cerca aquí de la pantalla. Siguen jugando, como saben hacerlo, qué gran maniobra individual que hace aquí y abre con la parte externa del, del pie. Y enseñándonos el talento que tiene Erika Maya, el número 8 de Fremont. A él le regresa el balón, este es Amaya. Abre una vez más. Están pasando a territorio de... Los Wolverines siguen atacando. Freeman se le atora el balón y roban la pelota aquí rápidamente el equipo de Foshe. A ver si llega primero muy bien atrás defensivamente. Lo que acabamos de ver de este número 5, Andy Aguilar. Jugadorazo defensivo de, de Fremont. Aquí se vienen los Wolverines tratando de tal vez agarrar el segundo gol, otro gol de la honra. Esto ya está liquidado, menos de un minuto y medio que le quedan al partido. Buscando opciones, pero se va a perder al final. Ah, aire. Dice aquí Ronaldo Canales Medrano, saludos a Amaya y a Espinal. Son Catracha, aquí los que nos trae a Maya y a Espinal. Y les digo, Erika Maya, usted acaba de ver en su. Acaba de poner un balón con la parte externa de su pie, abriendo la, la cancha. Se nota el talento que tiene a Maya. Y qué gran que sea una representación hondureña. Son los que están a. a Poniendo la atención al talento hondureño aquí en los Estados Unidos. Pongan la atención aquí a Maya, que es un talento hondureño aquí en Fremont High School. Va a ser tiro centro, cabezazo, sin problemas para el portero. Siguen buscando los de Foshe.
Luis Espinal, el portero, también. Muchas gracias por todos esos datos que nos están entrando. Freeman de la División 1. Buen dato también de entender el talento internacional que tienen estos programas, programas de preparatorias aquí en los Estados Unidos. Sea hondureños, salvadoreños, mexicanos, cualquier talento latinoamericano, es muy bien saber que lo hay aquí en esas preparatorias. Le ya está a punto de terminar el partido, pero sigue buscando aquí el equipo de Foshe y le va a pegar de afuera. Muy bien defensivamente el equipo de Freeman, la pelota sigue aquí y... Y sigue buscando el equipo de los Wolverines. Juegan atrás, le llegan dos de equi del equipo de Freeman. Sigue aquí los Wolverines tratando de poner el balón. Estamos ya al punto de que se termine esto. 4-1 en favor de Freeman. Díganos si les ha encantado la narración en español o la de inglés. O les podemos traer ambas en nuestra próxima cobertura. Con el árbitro significa y silba que esto... ¡Se acabó! Termina el partido después de 40 minutos de la segunda mitad, 80 minutos totales. Esto termina 4 a 1 a favor de Freeman. Los Pathfinders mejoran su récord de lo que ha sido ya una mejor campaña y siguen invictos en su liga. Gran partido de todo el equipo de Freeman. Y muchas gracias una vez más por esta sintonización. Acuerde que los partidos de CAF LA City Section Soccer se los vamos a tratar de, tratar de traer aquí en vivo de indirecto. Atentos a nuestras páginas sociales en lo que es Facebook y Instagram. Le vamos a andar tratando de dar la información de la programación de la próxima semana, cuáles partidos vamos a poder traerles en vivo y en directo. Pero eso termina 4-1 a favor de Fremont. Terminamos nuestra cobertura. Muchas gracias por estar sintonizado. Mi nombre es José Durán, su narrador de Futboleando. Muchas gracias por la sintonización. Nos vemos hasta la próxima. Que tengan buena noche y gran fin de semana.